Adam, what's your thoughts on today's game? Yeah, it was a good one to win. Obviously, first clean sheet of the year, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, didn't think we was at our best, but we managed to you know, grind out the result, um, which was good. Defensively, we looked really solid, so ple pleasing. Adam, what's it like playing on 3G for a goalkeeper? Is it any different to playing on grass? Yeah, it is a bit. The, the problem that you've got is when the ball gets played through, sometimes it will spin and check up, and sometimes when it's wet, it will zip through. So when you're coming off your line, you've got to really judge that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, when it comes through, you've got to really judge that. Um, for me personally, I really like playing on it. Like you get sureness in the pass. There's no bobbles. If someone shoots, there's not uneven bounce as well. It does muck up your knees a bit being in goal, but you know I'm getting old now anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> As a goalkeeper, you faced quite a few penalties and you've saved um, quite a high number in percentage-wise. But what's your secret? Yeah, when the player lines up for the penalty, there's there's quite a few factors that you take into account, kind of what position they play on the pitch, whether they're a midfielder or a striker. Um, the other the other thing as well, if they're having a good game or what the game situation is like, if it's nil-nil, you know, it's more of a nervous penalty. If they're kind of four-nil up, they might be more confident to try something different. Um, look at their body shape as well when they put the ball down. There's there's so many factors, but yeah, it's something that I've been really good at throughout my career, to be honest. One season I saved seven out of nine um, a few years ago. So, yeah, it's something that I really fancy and, you know, it's a good spotlight to put on you to, you know, have some limelight. You know, not always the hero, but when, when you save a penalty and your team go on to win, you know, it's, it's, it's a really good thing to do. So, yeah, I do practice them quite a lot. I practice taking them as well, so if we get into a shootout, I'm, I fancy myself to take one. But yeah, it's, it's something I've been good at throughout my career, and I don't want to give away too many secrets as to who goes where and what. But there are certain uh, things that I look at to pick up on, and it, 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 it works for me. So, change your goalkeeper coach this year. Um, Charlie's moved on to other things, and Kieran's come in. How, how have you found the coaching? Yeah, obviously, I'm disappointed when Chad's left. You know, he's one of my close pals, and something uh, we run a business together now as well. Something uh, so it's been a good budding relationship. But through that, I've met Kieran um, through Jack Midson as well, and we also help. He helps me with my business, and I help him with his coaching. So it's a relationship that's already been formed. You know, Kieran's a top coach. He's coached at various teams around the leagues as well, so Ramsgate and Hemel. So yeah, it's, he's come in. The training sessions have been great. Me and Liam have had a good time. You know, we're developing the young goalies in the under 18s. Uh, Regan's come on leaps and bounds as well with Chaz, and obviously he's still further developing with Kieran. So yeah, really looking forward to keep training, keep going on. And I'm not one of these players that comes in like to go just come in and do training you know I really want to work hard and it's good that Kieran pushes us and same same with Chaz when he was here as well. So you've got the physical aspects of training and being a goalkeeper how important is it to be mentally focused and have, have that confidence behind you? Yeah, it's, it's massively important, especially for a team like Sheppey. So if you play for a, another team, you know, that might finish mid-table, you might face a lot more shots. Whereas at Sheppey, you know, like today, didn't really have too much to do, but it's just when you get called upon, it could be a 70th minute, first minute, you know, whatever it is, you know, you just need to be switched on. Um, and also with Sheppey as well, there's a different aspect to it in terms of passing out on the ball. Uh, it's something that's been quite new for me since I've been here and something that I've really loved doing. I've, I've added it to my game, but it's just the concentration levels that are huge. That you have to just stay focused, especially when you play for the better teams, because you might only have one thing to do and you'll be judged on that in the whole game so it's just about staying concentrated focused just different things that you can do throughout the game make sure you're talking to your back four really helps it helps them keep focused so you don't have to do as much it also keeps you focused because you're always looking around to see what's going on in the game so mentally you're always switched on so goal goal scorers always have a goal target as a goalkeeper do you have a target from the amount of clean sheets per season not, not really, not clean sheets. I kind of look at it in terms of games. Ideally, I'd like to let in one goal a game, which might people might think, oh, that's quite a lot. But in terms of if you look at the league winners throughout all the previous years, they've kind of let in four or five goals more than the games they've played. You know, and you know we're looking to push for the league. So ideally, by the end of the season, if we play 38 games, I'd be looking to hopefully only let in 38 goals. So that, that's that's a kind of mini target. But I couldn't care if we win a game 5-4. I'd rather win every week. You know, it might not look as good as me at the end of the year, but I'm here to win. The boys are here to win. You know, we've got this fantastic facility. We, we really want to push for the win. And, you know, it's not it's not necessarily about me, my, my personal achievements, or even if one of the strikers get 30 goals. I, I think everyone would say I'd rather score five goals than us win the league. So, yeah. Um, do, do do set a little bit of a target in terms of a goal a game would be nice, but in terms of clean sheets, it's nice when you get them. There's no point getting hung up hung up at it. Last week when we played to Hamlet's, played well, didn't have much to do, and the guys scored in the last two minutes, flashed in, not a lot I can do. You know, it's one of them. It would have been nice for clean sheets, but sometimes it's the way it goes.
So August is still a tough month. We punch up away on Tuesday, and then we've got the FA Cup, and then we've also got Chatham and Hollands and Blair. So four hard games potentially on paper coming up. Yeah, it's a pretty busy end to uh, August, so we've got quite busy fixtures with the Saturday Monday as well. Um, obviously, it's a squad. We've got a big squad, so I'm sure people will be used. Um, but yeah, I've, they're all games that we, we fancy ourselves. Obviously, the Chatham game is going to be a huge game for the club. You know, probably be a record attendance here, hopefully. Um, you know, especially after the lockdown, lots of people will be keen to see it. But we've got to do the job with the other games. We've got Punjab first, which is a tough game. Obviously, they've, they took Glebe really close last night. Uh, they've started off the season really well, so yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, you know, in the FA Cup, I don't know too much about Salt Dean, but you know, it's, it's huge for the club. The further we go, go through, last year was amazing to play teams like Welling and Eastbourne. So you know, we're looking to do the same again. And uh, last question: So we played 18 games on the road um, since we started back up in May. Did it make a huge difference playing at home for the first time? It's nice to have all the fans cheering your name rather than shouting at you, which is good behind the goal. So yeah, having everyone cheering you rather than shouting at you is a nice feeling, but you know, something I'm used to. Um, it's good to have everyone back here, and obviously they can see the facility that we've got, which is great. And you know, just after the game, hearing them sing, and you know, it, it does make a difference rather than playing away. You know, it's difficult for everyone to come. You know, we do get good away support, but you know, we don't get as many as home. So yeah, it's good to be back here and you know, have everyone happy with the result.